everybody and welcome to our Friday art lesson, our fun Friday lesson. Today we are going to draw a cute little cartoon of a Norwal whale. These little whales, uh, people say kind of, well they're not little, they're actually pretty big, but they have horns. These, these horns on the top of their heads. And so people say they kind of look like unicorns of the sea. So I thought you guys would enjoy this. Um, and it's very cartoony and cute. And I know a lot of you love drawing eyes like this, the big cute anime eyes. So let's get started. I have my pencil, I have my eraser, and then I also have my markers. And today I'm gonna draw two whales together. Um, just because I think it'd be cute to draw a couple of different ones and color them in different colors. So if you would just like to draw one, that's okay. But if you want to draw two, go ahead and you can do that with me. So I'm going to start with my first whale. I'm going to do it in this top half, half of my paper. And we start out just with a circle. And I know you can all do circles. So let's see. I'm going to draw using my whisper lines. A circle. Ooh. There we go. And now I'm going to lock it in. I'm going to go through and clean up any lines I don't need anymore. There we go. Beautiful. So step number two is adding this little triangle tail. And we've done this shape before. So starting right at the bottom of your circle, you're gonna kind of curve up, stop. And then we're gonna make almost like a curvy triangle and curve down, stop. This makes it almost look like a sideways water droplet. Like if I turn it this way, doesn't it kind of look like a raindrop? So we've done step one, we've done step two. And what I'm gonna do for step three is I'm just going to erase the line, the circle line, where the circle and that triangle meet. Does that make sense? So I just erased right where the circle and the tail meet. So it looks like one water drop shape and not a triangle and a circle. Oh, and I forgot to put my name. Okay. Step number four is um, drawing the tail. And it's kind of like, I guess, kind of like a heart shape like we've done before in the past couple lessons. Or you can kind of think of it as like a flower petal shape. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a dot right where my tail would go straight up. <clears throat> like right in the middle. And now I'm gonna draw a curve that touches the bottom, like a heart. And then another curve that touches the tummy, like a heart. And do you see how there's a little bit of room, whoops, there we go, a little bit of room between my tail. See how there's like a little spot right there? We're gonna erase that line. and just make it look nice and neat. No, it kind of looks like a chicken drumstick. Do you see that? That's your tail. So that's step number four. <coughs> step number five is drawing the eyes. So. Let's go through this slowly, friends. We're gonna draw two big circles using your whisper lines. Make sure they're really big. These kind of cartoony eyes are supposed to look really big and cute. So there are my two circles. Now, I'm gonna lock those circles in for my eyes. Now, we're gonna draw this jelly bean shape up in the corner of both eyes. Do you see how it does not touch the edge of the eye? It just kind of floats there, but it's kind of going the, the same direction. Both eyes are pointing the same direction. And then we're going to draw two little circles down here. 
these are highlights, okay? That's what you're drawing in those anime eyes that make it look really big and cute. And now I'm just gonna shade in around those circles. Just going, just so I know what's supposed to be dark, because otherwise it looks a little bit spooky. And I'm gonna go ahead and color this in with black marker later. But just for now, I'm gonna color it in. This will give you a chance to practice your pencil control too when you're coloring. Okay, there we go. So that's step number five. Step number six is adding the face um, details. So like a smile and little eyebrows and little cheeks if you wanted to. Um, so I'm gonna do a little smile, Ooh, just like a little rainbow, little upside down rainbow. And then cute little right side up rainbow eyebrows, nice and cute. Awesome, so that's step number six. Step number seven is giving him cute little flippers. So these are also like that triangle shape that we did for the back of the, of the whale. I'm just gonna freehand this and do cute little curved triangle off the side of the whale's body. And then inside the whale, we're just gonna do a cute little triangle. Now don't draw the bottom of it, just leave it floating there. Okay, good job. So that's step number seven. Now, step number eight is drawing the unicorn horn. So what we're gonna do is, you see the top of my Norwell's head right here? I'm gonna make a curved line going the other way below that. Do you see how I went below the top of my head? And it's just a little one. And now I'm gonna put a dot kind of up here. So I have this line below my Norwell's head and I have a dot up here. Now using those lines to the dot, I'm gonna make a triangle. So what I did was I connected that curved bottom line with two lines meeting at the top to make a triangle. Now what I'm going to do is this line going through the triangle, I'm going to erase it, okay? Let's go ahead and erase that. That's a very important part. And there you have your unicorn horn. And I'm gonna make some little U's in there to kind of show that it, it kind of twists. It's kind of twisty and bumpy. So there's step number eight. Step number nine is adding the cute little details. So if you wanna add cute little cheeks, just little ovals, they drew a little heart on his fin. Maybe you want bubbles and eyelashes. That'd be pretty cute. So there's our first bear wall. Yay. So let's do it one more time. I'm going to do it quicker this time. Okay, guys. So if you don't want to go ahead and do another one, go ahead and start coloring. But if you do want to join me, I'm going to do it real quick. And I'm gonna have this one facing the other way. So I'm gonna put my circle right there. Remember, this is the beginning of our body, step number one. Step number two is doing that, that curved triangle for your Norwell's tail. And then step number three is going ahead and erasing that inside part of the circle where the tail and the body meet. Step number four is adding the tail. And so I'm just gonna freehand it this time and then erasing where the tail and the body meet. Step number five is drawing our big, cute eyes. Just big circles. Remember to make them nice and big and cartoony. And then adding that that shine mark to them. Which are just like jelly bean shapes and then little ovals. And then I went ahead and shaded my in, mine in just quickly so that I remembered that these needed to, to be colored in dark. 
Step number six was adding the smile and little eyebrows. Step number or six, sorry. Step number seven is adding <clears throat> a little fin, which was like a curved triangle. And then another curved triangle. Remember that one does not have a bottom to it. Step number eight was drawing our unicorn horn. Remember we put the upside down rainbow below the Norwell's head and a dot. And then we brought the lines down to make a triangle. And then we erased inside that triangle. And we added some upside down rainbows inside the triangle to show that it's kind of a bumpy unicorn horn or a Norwell, Norwell horn. Now I'm going to add my details. I'm going to add cheeks. I'm going to add... Instead of a heart on this whale, I'm going to give her a star. Remember, we practiced stars last week. so. And then I'm going to draw some bubbles, which are just going to be circles. And ta-da, I have my second whale. So now I think it's time to start coloring, friends. And so pick some good colors for your whales <clears throat> if you're going to join along. I am going to pick, I really love the light blue that they did, so I'm going to do light blue, and I'm going to do purple for my whales. So I'm going to make this one light blue, or I mean purple, lavender, and the bottom one light blue. So this one's going to be purple, lavender, um, the bottom one's going to be light blue. So I'm outlining everything. I'm going to do my black ink work last so that it doesn't really um, uh, bleed into anything. And so now that I have this whale, I have him all outlined, I'm going to start coloring him in. I'm going to outline the cheeks because I'm going to make his cheeks nice and rosy with a different color. I really like that they made the unicorn horn or the, uh, the whale horn yellow. So I think I'm going to do that as well. You do not have to, though, do the same colors as me at all. You, I want you guys to get creative with your coloring. And friends, I would love for you to send um, me pictures of your art. Uh, you guys can always email me. I'm going to include my email on my next packet out to you guys. So you can send me pictures of your art because I would love to see what you guys have been working on. I know you guys are making such beautiful things. Okay. So this whale's all colored in. He's all colored. So now I'm going to color in his cheeks. Um, pale pink. And I'm going to color in this one's pale pink, too, since I have the color out. I think that's real cute. And then I'm going to color in my whale's star. Um, bright yellow on this one. And it's horn bright yellow. For both of them. And then I'm going to use magenta to color in the heart on this whale's flipper. And now I'm going to color in my other whale. And then we'll do detail work. How about that? So I'm going to use my light blue. And I'm going to do light blue bubbles. I think that'd be cute. <clears throat> Time to outline this whale. Okay. Here we go. Oh, 
outlining first and then coloring in like always if you can. Be careful if you did your your star yellow, if you did a star on this flipper, because um, yellow and blue, if they mix together, they make green. But I don't know if you want green on your whale, so just be careful. There we are. Coloring in. This one's a little bit bigger, so it's taking a little bit longer to color it in. There we go. Okay. And all done. Yay. All done coloring those in. Okay, so now I'm going to add my details um, with the black. So I'm going to start out outlining my eyes with my black marker. It's nothing special. It's just the same markers that the that came in the pack with the the ones I've been coloring with. Outline really carefully. There we go. Perfect. Then I'm going to draw my smile. I'm going to outline my fin. I'm going to outline my eyebrows. The little eyelashes I gave him. My horn. And I'm not going to do the lines inside the horn, just the outside. And then I'm going to do the outside of my whale's body. Now let's do this one. If you want to outline the cheeks, you can. I don't think you need to, though. I think either way would look all right. There we go. Learn those eyeballs, not leaving um, white marks unless you have those two highlight spots. Of course, leave those. Let's color in the other eye. I'm really taking my time with the eyes, friends, because I really need those highlights. That's what makes it look so cartoony. So please take your time because it's so easy to accidentally color those in. But if you do, that's a-okay. Remember, we're all learning. Like, look, whoops, Miss Courtney just made an oops. I made that line way too far out. There we go. But that's okay. You can always fix it. Like the book, oops, you can always make something cool out of it. And then I'm going to give this one, I'm going to give her some eyelashes too. <clears throat> Ta-da! 
So there are my two normal whales. Yay. Beautiful friends. If you want to color in the background, I think that would be a great idea. Um, I am going to call mine done though for today. So thank you all for joining me for art this week. And I cannot wait to see you next week for art class. Until next time. Bye guys.